teeth are very interesting. They have the they have the two in the front um, on the on the top and the bottom. They're very long. It's basically their incisors. They have a big gap in between that, and then they have their molars in the back. Their teeth constantly grow, and so sometimes that means they need to be trimmed or filed. A lot of times bunnies will have you know some some chew type toys, or they'll get pieces of wood and chew on them. This is how they do it in the wild, where they keep it where obviously nobody's trimming their teeth down. Um, but when we feed them our, our diets like we do, that are a little bit artificial, um, it, it can lead to some some overgrowth of the teeth in specific ways. And there's a couple of quick things you can check on. So if your bunny's ever not eating, one of the things that your veterinarian will look at is their teeth to make sure that there's not a problem going on in the mouth that would be hurting them or causing them to not want to eat. So one of the easiest things that we can check is basically the lateral movement. And so if we grab, and we'll see how she's going to cooperate here. Hey, sweet thing. So if you grab the nose right here, and I'm holding her jaw on the bottom, you probably can't see in her hair, she'll be able to slide side to side. I'm going to be real quiet, but may even be able to hear it. We'll do that one more time. And so what's happening there is those molars are grinding side to side. And the molars are actually angled, I'm going to just imitate this, so that the edges line up like this. And as they grind, it kind of goes side to side like this. And that's what allows them to basically grind up those hay particles into smaller pieces so that they can eat them and then digest them more easily because they're broken down. And so they can get basically hooks on the back of their teeth that will catch. And then instead of being able to slide side to side, it'll lock and it won't let the mouth move the way it should. And then we have to go in there and file them down. And then on the front teeth, and we'll see again if she'll cooperate with us. I know this is rude. You can see the top ones aren't very long, and they usually stay like that. The bottom ones grow up underneath, and they should line up just underneath those top ones, and hers are a good length. If these bottom ones get too big, they can push right into the gum, right in this area right here, and they can cause an ulcer there that can keep them from being able to close their mouth all the way. It can be very painful, which will keep them from eating. And again, that's an area that sometimes we have to trim those teeth down to keep them. So that's the biggest thing with rabbit dental health. You don't need to brush their teeth. You don't need to give them anything extra. There are toys and chewies made for rabbits. I would recommend those specifically. Or again, blocks of wood or pieces of sticks and things from the outside are fine for them to chew on. If you're giving them wood, make sure it's not treated wood. You don't want any sort of the uh, weather sealants in there because that could cause some serious problems. So it really depends on the bunny. Okay. Um, some bunnies never need their teeth crowned down. They, they do fine on their own. They manage. They don't need anything at all. Other bunnies will need it more periodically. I would say, unless there's a, an issue, a medical issue, most of the time, twice a year is probably going to be sufficient. Maybe three or four times a year, but, but again, I'm looking for some other problems if we're having to do it that often, or something we can change in the diet so that they can manage some of it on their own and we're not having to do that. Because one of the things we have to do with these boys and girls is, is to sedate them to file their teeth. They're not going to let us do it awake. You can see she didn't even like me messing with her mouth. So to actually get in there with a small file and file on those teeth, we have to have them sedated. It's a safe procedure. It can be done very safely, but just like with us, you don't want to do it unless you have to. So we look for ways we can alter their diet, things that they can chew on to maintain themselves, and see if we can't get them to do that. So it's, the short answer is as often as is necessary, but as little as possible.